We trust the lamb, not the donkey or the elephant. Uh, grace is good news. It's the good news that God loves us, um, not because of anything we've done, but just out of his sheer mercy, he has forgiven us mm-hmm. and lavished us with his love and uh, blessing and nothing that we could ever earn or deserve. Why are we so uncomfortable with grace? I mean, given that it's such good news, why is it that we are resistant? What? Why do we find ourselves moving toward legalism and away from this good news uh, that grace offers us? Yeah, I, there's something about the human psyche that, that wants to wants to rank people. Hmm. Every society, uh, you know. You know where you stand by comparing yourself to the people around you. Mm-hmm. What kind of car they drive compared to what kind of car you drive. What kind of job you have. What kind of career you have. What kind of educational background you have. And we're and and even societies like under communism or extreme socialism that try to level that, you know, they become some of the most ranking of all. Like in in the streets of Moscow, you know these these limos with the with the bureaucrats come zipping down kind of knocking people out of the way they're the top dog and and we're very competitive we're competitive in sports we're competitive in everything we don't we, we feel uncomfortable when people do things for us we like to be in control mm-hmm. strangely enough uh so if somebody gives me a christmas present that's worth ten dollars i think oh no now i gotta buy eleven dollar one for them next year you know <laughs> it's just natural and Grace cuts across all that. It it levels us, mm. and especially it levels us uh, kind of like the, the first step in the 12-step movement. The first step m- many people in the 12-step moment, movement would say is the hardest, where you admit, I cannot make it on my own. Mm-hmm. That's just a, that's an un-American thing. We pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. We we can do it. We can do it. And, and then you run into something where you, you can't do it. And grace starts with the the admission that I have failed, <laughs> that I need help, and and I need God's help. And some people stubbornly resist that. And some people don't understand it. Some people come up with their own little legal legalistic ladder to try to reach God, and and they don't get grace that way. The grace is an admission that I do need God's help. I can't make it on my own, and an acceptance of. of taking that next step and following God, following Jesus. It's just, it's an unnatural act. And I, in the book, as you know, Keith, I kind of retell in modern form some of the parables that Jesus told that are just hard to understand. Like the, you know, a simple one where they, there's an employer and he hires some people at eight o'clock in the morning and some people at four o'clock in the afternoon. And then at five o'clock when the pay time comes, he pays them all the same amount. And the people who are there at eight o'clock say, wait a minute, what's going on here? I've been out here for eight hours. This guy just showed up an hour ago. And Jesus' answer is, the employer says, that don't I have the right to be generous to whomever I want? Not stingy, you know, <laughs> but grace is its unfair. It's mathematically unfair. Mm-hmm. And, and we resist that. But, but God is... God, it, God doesn't run out of grace. There's plenty to go around. And he just wants everybody to experience it. Whether you have a little glimmer of faith or you go to a seminary and get a theological degree. Uh, that doesn't make you any better. It doesn't make you any more qualified for grace. It's just out there. All you have to do is receive it. Hey, I'm Keith. Thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in ending tribalism like we are, we have a podcast and a book. Both are called Truth Over Tribe. You can listen to the podcast on Apple or Spotify, and you can get the book off Amazon. I hope you'll check them out.